I'm making chocolate chip cookies. We all love chocolate chip cookies and they are so easy to make that even my kids can make them really well. And I'm going to waste no time and get started with it. I've got some soft brown sugar, 40 grams, that goes in. And then I'm going to add 60 grams of caster sugar, normal caster sugar. And that soft brown sugar is going to add a lovely flavor to the cookies. Next goes in 150 grams of unsalted softened butter. And now I'm going to use some elbow grease and mix it all up. You want it to go creamy and nice and pale. And you can use an electric whisk, but I don't think there's any need. Basically, I'm trying to burn off the calories that I'm going to consume. Um, next goes in, oops, next goes in some vanilla extract. And I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of that. Another mix. And one egg yolk, just the yolk, not the white. That goes in. Okay, so we've got the base and now I'm going to add 225 grams of self-raising flour. Now I'm just gently going to fold it all in till I have a soft dough. And I've got 150 grams of chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate, but you can use whatever you like, broken up leftover chocolate. Um, and I'm just going to keep a handful to decorate on top, just a little bit, um, and the rest can go in. And time to use the hands because we need to, such a soft dough, so nice. Right, so I've got it together. That's our cookie dough. So I'm going to take just a tablespoon at a time and just goes on some baking sheet. You can of course make really big cookies but it's totally up to you. And with these chocolate chips I'm just going to put some on top. I've got the oven nice and preheated at 180C and these are going to go in for 12 to 15 minutes. Um, I would say 13 is a good number. Oh, look at these. Stunning. Okay, so I've broken the first one, but the key is they are so so soft and actually it didn't take 13 minutes it actually did take 15 minutes uh, because they were a bit pale at 13 minutes right that is stunning they take a few minutes to set so they're really soft and squidgy um, just leave them to rest for a few minutes and they will crisp up slightly. I always say that things are really easy to make at home and the things you make at home, homemade stuff, taste so much better than shop-bought and you've seen how simple they were to make. So I've got an idea. I'm going to box these up and I'm going to take it on to the high street and I'm going to get some shop-bought uh, chocolate chip cookies and let people taste and decide which one is better, homemade or shop-bought. Obviously, we won't tell them which one's homemade. Um, and let's see what the reaction is. I'm gonna get some shop-bought cookies and then we can get into tasting. I've got them.
One is homemade and one is shop bought. Do you okay. want to taste both and tell me which one you like more? Okay, sure. See, you can come and try. It's really good. It's actually really good. Probably those ones. Yeah? Yeah, they melt Oh, homemade one. Thank you so much. Which cookie is better? I haven't got a sense of taste. So what? I've got a sense of taste, I've got a sense of smell. Okay. No! What, what are they? Cho both chocolate, yeah, they? both chocolate chip cookies. Okay. One is homemade and one is shop bought. And I'm just trying to find out which one's better. I'll probably know straight away yeah, anyway. That one looks, mm. that looks handmade, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Definitely that one. Yes! Yes! Definitely that one. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much. That one's really lovely, it's got a lot of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> no one. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can leave. Which one's better? Yes. I can't eat it. Oh, oh I'm okay. imagine that one. Just I can tell that one. Food. Oh, you've been at the food festival? Yeah, food. yeah. And automatically, I'm... that one I like. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. My instinct would be to eat this. And not this, not yeah. 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 Yes, that one's better. Yeah. That one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, one. thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell people to cook more at home, and obviously, I'm saying homemade is always better. Of course, it is. <laughs> well, mm. I wouldn't have even bothered with that one. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Oh, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Oh God, this is fun. This is turning out to be a fun thing. Mmm. They're different. They are different. This is soft I like that one. It's like a shortbread. Good girl. Why? Oh, I'm did trying you make those? to. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. No, they don't like the cookies you get in the red pack. <coughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know what they are? <laughs> I was going to say that, I didn't want to try that. I'm trying to do it. Yeah. I think this one's homemade, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. Just a better one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, you look like you need to try some cookies. Well, I want to say no. Yes, so tell me which one do you think is better tasting? Please. Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, I, was, I was bored, but I thought if there's cookies involved, I'll, uh, I'll come down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good choice. It's homemade. So I'm just trying to see whether people prefer shop what crispier or homemade softer. Yeah, more buttery. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So basically, homemade turns out to be a clear winner, not a single doubt that it's the buttery, the softness. The melt in the mouth texture that makes homemade so so delicious. So I have proved myself and I'm saying go try them. <laughs>